Okay, hello, good evening once again everybody. 21st Century Jedi here with you um, on a uh, pretty dry fall evening here uh, at Headquarters Central. Um, we are back. We are going to resume um, our game from yesterday, which is Asylum. We're going to go ahead and knock that out, uh, get that one finished up, and then... Uh, we're going to move on to a little Diablo 2 tonight. Keeping with the old uh, Halloween theme. So, um, just bringing up all my stuff here right now so I can finish this off. Um, so just, just for everyone's digestion here, it's going to be a lot of face changing in the last bits here. I need to have... Map two, four, two, three, four. Okay, just almost all of them. Just about. So go ahead and open them up. Let's go. I'm just bringing them all up now. <sighs> I am. Uh, haven't been feeling 100% lately. Um. It's a. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's like. Uh, Hold on, just getting all my maps here. Yeah, uh, it's weird, you know. It's like lately I've been feeling like it's kind of like a self self fulfilling prophecy when it comes to my my well being and my my health, I guess if you want to call it. Um, and this may be a little TMI for everybody, but basically, it's, you know, I'll have a little bit of something that just doesn't feel right about myself physically, and. In and of itself, it's not too bad, but when my mind starts taking off of it, it starts wondering, is something going on? Is something wrong? Am I, you know, coming down with something? Is this a, you know, something I really need to be concerned about? And when my mind starts taking off like that, it kind of exacerbates the problem, whatever it is I'm feeling, what ailment it is. If so, if I'm having just a slight stomach issue or something like that going on, in and of itself, it's fine. But once my mind starts taking off, it's like, it just keeps going on and on and starts making things worse. So I have to try and actually distract my mind to get myself off of what it is I'm thinking about. And usually that does the case and uh, does the trick and, and gets me off of things. So uh, tonight's just one of those nights. So I'm just kind of riding myself through this a little bit. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a quick stream tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do for how long I'm going to do Diablo 2. I do want to at least finish Asylum up so I can say I've done that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, load that one up right now. Uh, another back to work Monday for me, personally. Um, did get a little bit of yard work done today, which is good. So I'm happy to, to get a little bit of uh, leaf blowing done today. It's a chore for me every year to try and get through the leaves um it's never like a, a quick and easy thing it's always like you're you know you, you get them done the more come in and it's like they don't end with the trees around my area they don't stop falling until almost the end of november um so it's I, i've been out there in december just blowing leaves for crying out loud and it's 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 terrible um I don't want to hire somebody because that's a lot of money to spend on just kind of picking up leaves, basically. Um, so I just kind of take my leaf blower out there and get them into the woods as best I can. So um, you just kind of take your wins whenever you can get them, I guess. So what else is going on today? Um, not a whole lot, I suppose. going to be a little bit of a low-key stream tonight, so um, if I don't do a lot of talking and stuff, uh, I hope you'll forgive me on that. I'm just kind of kind of rolling through things a little bit here and just, um, you know, trying to make it through and keep my mind at ease a bit. That's really all I'm looking to do right now. up some pages over here. Hmm. Let's 
as we wait for this to load. Hey, Foxfire, good to hear from you again. I um, appreciate it, man. I, I'm just, um, like I said, it's just one of those little things where it's like when you don't feel good, your mind just starts taking off with you a little bit. So, um, yeah, we're going to reload a game here. Okay, so if I remember where we were, let's see, a bunch of doors here. I think I we I think we're on map three. No, we were on map five. I think. Let's go double check that. I think map five. Yep, there we are. Now we need to go to. So we're going to go run, <laughs> we're doing, let's see, one, two, three, four. Four facial surgeries. If that doesn't disturb you enough, right? Uh, so we're going to run to map two to go get that. So every time we go back to map two, it sounds like we're going to be going to get another facial surgery. So good news is it's not that far away from us here. Just need to go this way. Down this way, take right, and then shoot all the way up here through this door. Don't splat into the door. We're going to close that door. There we go. Now on the map two. Right. So coming from map five. We gotta go to yep. We we'll just go over here. There we go. Open door. Ah, unlock door with platinum card. Ah, unlock door with gold card. You are in a well-lighted room. You notice they are pressing surveillance camera and the asylum logo. You see a plastic surgeon. He looks ready to operate. He says, this is the Cosmetic Surgery Operating Theater. Do you need a new face? Um, yes. Uh, give coins to Sergion. Your face now looks like James T. Kirk. Fantastic. So now we got to go uh, to map four, which is, let's see, from here. Hmm. Which way is better, I wonder? Map four. We gotta go there, connect A, connect B, connect C. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll go for whatever's closest. Connect. Connect C apparently is right here, right around this corner. So we'll go through this. Unlock door with credit card. All right, so now we're here. We are now on map four. Connect C. So we should be able to just go this way, 
There should be a door over here. Unlock door. It says here with credit card. Let's see if it's true. Nope. Let's try the platinum card. Open door. <clears throat> what? Attacked by rats? What? what the heck is that? Uh, what? There was nothing mentioned about rats in here. Huh. Great. Yep. I'm going to do all that over again now. Ain't that fantastic. All right. Um, let's try that again. Map 5. Right? Yep. Um, these guys are here. I should just go this way. That's crazy. I wonder what happened there. Okay, we're going to unlock door with gold card. Open door. Go through. Well, there's only one thing I can think of. It doesn't mention it here. It's like they left it out slightly. I think I'm supposed to wear the rat suit. Yes, give coins to surgeon. Let that go. All right, so we got the face now. And now we are supposed to go map two this it turn the corner I think that's right yeah unlock door with platinum card open door close door save game Okay, uh, wear rat suit. All right, so we have the rat suit on now. And we are in map, I'll connect C for map four. So we should be able to go through here. Unlock door with credit card. Unlock door with platinum card door. You hear rats scurrying all around you, but they didn't eat me. Nice. Uh, let's see. So what's the next step here? We have to go from this doorway. 
we got to go to area 20 on the map. So we have to go this way, around this corner. I think we have to go this way. Yep, we got rats all around us. We got it. This way, and then left, and then up. And then, uh, I think we can just go all the way over. Yep. Yep, we know about the rats. One, two, three. You hear someone humming the theme from Star Trek. That's going to be this dude. Uh, let's see. Unlock door with platinum card. Open door. Pass through that door. Uh, it's been light years. Here, I have something for you. I'm, it's a miniature transport unit. I'm sorry it's broken, so you'll need to get it fixed. Also, it only works in certain areas while I'm free, so goodbye. So I guess that was Dr. McCoy. I must have blinked here. Uh, get transporter. There we go. Close door. Got that. Supposed to go back to surgery. Wonderful. Well, we're going to go back the way we came, I guess. We can go this way. Go this way. Way. Get to this door. Through there. Close door. And I'm supposed to go this way, I think. The door. Turn around. Close that door. That should have put me at Connect C on map 2. So then if I go this way, keeping it on my right, I should be able to make a turn. There's plastic surgery. Good job. Let's save game. Okay, uh, unlock door with gold card, because I think that surgeon keeps locking it. All right, uh, yeah, we need another new face, apparently. Uh, give coins to surgeon. Apparently, I have an endless supply of coins now. It's nice that plastic surgery can be done for a change. <laughs> I mean, I look like Andy Taylor. Who's Andy Taylor? Could be the guy from Duran Duran. Could be some other Andy Taylor. Either way, we look like Andy Taylor now. Now we got to go to map three, which is going to be a bit of a haul here because there's no quick way to get there. Uh, we could do it from map one, four, or five. Let's see. Map one. Map one might be the best way to go. Because it's almost a straight line across. We could probably make that happen. So if we 
take a right here. Keep going down the hallway. Turn this way. That should be one. I don't know where that goes, but this one goes to map one. Open that door. Okay. Where do you go now? I should be able to go this way. Long hallway. Here we go. So now the last entrance on the left is kind of what I'm looking for here. This way, right here. Go that way. Around. Should go up this way. And then all the way down. Take a left. Take the first right. This way. Around that corner. I believe I'm going to go this way. And then here we go. Map 3. Open door. Oh, unlock door with... Uh, we were on map 1, so it should be... Let's try the gold card. Unlock door with... Credit card. Hmm. There we go. To think of this game, to just imagine the stuff that they put into this game, it's, it takes a lot of creativity to do this. I gotta hand them credit that. Denman really did a lot. <sighs> um, now we gotta go to the fix-it shop, which is literally right here. Someone can be heard whistling. Let's save the game just to be safe. To Unlock door with platinum card. Open door. We have everything we need here, I think. You are in a room with a desk. It is well lighted and a camera watches. You are in Emmett's fix-it shop. He is working at his bench. Andy, it's been a while. Too bad we don't have some lunch. Give lunch to Emmett. Emmett thanks you and hardly eats the lunch. He notices your transporter unit, and with great flair, much banging and hammering, and a smile, he fixes it. Um, I don't think we need to do this. Okay, that's fine. We got what we need out of this guy, so let's close the door. All right, so third surgery. We got to go back to map two, I believe, right? Yes. So we're going to go back the way we came. Open door. Close that door. OK. Uh, down, down, down. All the way to this area here. Take a right and a left around that horn. Over here, go all the way to the end of this. Right down around this corner. Should be able to go straight down the end of this. Around this corner. And then we'll go ahead and open the door. And 
closed door, dummy. Go around so we get to the plastic surgeon again. Um, should be able to open. Oh, we have to unlock door with gold card. Open door. And yes, we need a new face. Uh, give coins to surgeon. Let's see what we look like this time. Your face now looks like the Master Mystic. Ah, the person we're supposed to take out. Well, now, this is interesting. We have to go to map four and confront the Master Mystic now. We are on map two. Need to get to map four, area 22. Doesn't really matter which way we go. So we'll go ahead and do connect C again. If we turn left, go this way, we should be able to open this door, go through that, close that door. All right, so now we're on map four, connect C. If I go in this way, we should be able to do this. This should already be open. What else? Save game, just in case. Now we're going to wind our way up to that room. Confront that master mystic. Okay, back to that map. We're facing a wall. Let's, uh... Right? Yep, I got rats all around us. Fantastic. We're going to take a right and go all the way to the outside here. We can go here. We want to go this way, I think. And we'll take a left. Yeah, that's got to be it right there. Um, here we go. It says to stand outside. Uh, let's just save the game again. Just for the heck of it. Two. It says to stand outside, press the button on the transport to be able to walk through walls. Now drop rat suit and walk forward through the closed door to enter the lair of the Master Mystic. Okay, so um, press button on transporter. Okay, nothing apparent happens. Drop rat suit. Walk forward through the closed door. Okay. So it says here, if you do not look like him, the game will restart without further explanation. Otherwise, if you are carrying the scroll from the spiritual master at 18, which we are. Uh, let's see. Master Mystic. He sees your scroll and proceeds to read it. His eyes open wide. Uh, something about the answer. I see the light. Without warning, the mystic vanishes. His ring falls to the floor. A disembodied voice says, Seek under your bed. There's no place like home. Uh, get ring. There we go. We have the dragon ring. 
Um, are we supposed to... Here's what I don't understand. I'm going to get this uh, rat suit. Just in case the rats decide they want to eat my face. Save game again. Now we're supposed to go back to map one, go by a map three, not map two. Which means we need to go to a different connector, it looks like. Do, 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 do. Okay, down this way. Let's go back the way we came. down to here. We don't want to go further there. We're going to go this way. Take a left down to this way. Hit this door. Whew. All right, so now this time we want to go left, I think. Weird. Okay, so we want to go this way. Connect D map three. Unlock. I don't think this one's been unlocked. Open door. All right, we are on map three from connector D. Right. That's our door that we came in. I'm going to turn around. Go through here. Go all the way around. Should be right here. Close that door. Now, we have to go to look under bed. This it sounds like we have to go back to where we started from. Uh, let's see, map two. Right, yep, I guess we got to go this way. In this way, then to our left. That doesn't look right. Hold up. Oh, I'm getting lost. Hold on. Darn it. I'm lost. Ah, crap. I gotta figure out where I'm at. There's a door here. Yeah, that looks like map two, so we'll go back through here. Let's start over and try this again. Okay, um, so to our left, this way, this doesn't look right, why is this off? That's the doorway, did I come in the wrong way? Or did I come in from map three? I probably came in from map three. That's the problem. Okay. That's got to be it. All right. So we need to go. 
down this way, we should go this way. Yeah, I think this is the problem. So we need to take a right. And right that wall. What's the fastest way there? Oh boy. This is going to be easy to get lost here if I'm not careful. That way. Take a right. Go down to the end of the hallway here. Take a left. Right. Down, down there. Left around this corner. Right. That way. Go down this way to the end. This way. Uh, so now, I believe we're supposed to look under our bed. Picture. Get picture from under bed. Examine picture. It is a picture of you before all the fancy facelifts. <laughs> Lovely. So I know what I look like now. Okay, um, we're almost done here. All we need to do is get one final plastic surgery and walk out the door. So just for anyone's, in order to keep up with this, I guess, um, if you recall part one, we got very far and then suddenly the guards stopped us, said, we need you to beat the Master Mystic, blah, blah, blah. We know you can do this and go ahead and Godspeed on your quest. We're basically finishing the quest, returning ourselves back to our, our normal face, and now we're going to go and, and turn in the quest to those guys, and they're going to basically let us walk out. So that's where we're at now. What a weird game this is, I'll tell you. Do I, do I like this game? I do still like it. Um, it is challenging. If you don't have the walkthrough, I, I can see people getting very frustrated with this game. Uh, where am I supposed to go now? I gotta go back to the surgery in map two. Yep, so we just gotta go this way. I'm gonna open this door. Walk through. Close door. Uh, I'm just going to keep going around until I find the plastic surgeon again. It'll tell me. I do like the, the visual. Um, I do remember when you, and, and maybe we'll see this as I play some other text-based adventure games. When you see the visuals for these other adventure games, they're very slow. They don't, they're not animated usually. Um... It's usually vector or, you know, based or raster based graphics, um, just kind of drawn on the screen. And that's it. It's a static picture, you know. Uh, some of the pictures look decent for the, the time. It's just they don't move. This game, um, despite the weirdness of the asylum, it, um, it really, um, is smooth scrolling, you know, because of the way that they design things and they minimalize the asylum and the surroundings itself to make it purposely confusing, but also to minimize on the graphic load. So as I'm walking through these things, it's very simple for it to animate very, you know, because it has a little bit of work to do, not a lot, to animate the movement of the player through the, the maze. It's, uh, it's a little bit clever, I have to say. It's it's pretty neat. Um, unlock door with gold card again. Open door. Go through there. Let's see. He should be able to set me back now. Yes, I need a new face. Uh, give picture 
to uh, surgeon, right? So you wish to look like this, a little homely maybe, but I can do it and I will do it. <laughs> All right, so now we look like ourselves again. Great. Um, walk through the same door where you ended part one to finish the game. So this is it, folks. Um, map two. All we need to do is go right around this corner, down this hallway, down this hallway, right at this door. We'll save the game here real quick. And do, do, do. Go. So after this, I'm going to take a quick break um, so I can switch back over to Diablo 2 settings and stuff, get it all fired up, ready to go. And um, we'll we'll continue our stream here. We'll just do a little bit of Diablo 2 before we call it tonight. Okay, uh, open door. Here we go. Pass through the door. A lot of loading. An armored security agent confronts you. He is heavily armed. Splendid! You bring the ring of the Master Mystic. Obviously you have defeated him. We can only bow to your brilliance and cunning. You are free to go. This ends William Denman's asylum. Yay! We're out of the crazy asylum. And there's no way to do anything in here. Cool. So that's it. That's the end of Asylum. Um, again, I I find this game clever. Um, it's not. Is it the best adventure game ever? No. No. I, I I still think there are a lot of classics out there that rank above this one, like Zorks. Uh, you know, the Zork ones. There's going to be some that I'm going to go back to that were from Trillium slash Tellarium like Fahrenheit 451 and Amazon. Um, there's a couple other ones, like Rendezvous with Rama. There's um, Tracer Sanction, I think. There's, there's a lot of text-based adventure games out there. Uh, and in terms of the, the adventure itself, this one is very challenging if you don't have the walkthrough. And again, the graphics on this thing, I feel, are good um, for the time. A very clever the way they did the smooth scrolling through the maze for again this this hardware that is the Commodore 64 um, that type of smooth scrolling really didn't exist back when this game was put out so a lot of credit to them where credit is due uh, so I, I'll definitely give them the edge on that but as the best adventure game as the one with the most plot the best story type of thing no now this was just kind of designed to mess with your brain, and it does. You know, if you don't have the walkthrough, it will absolutely mess with your brain. So you have to do a lot of like plotting and and remembering and doing things and mapping things out and stuff. And you know, it, it can be tricky. So uh, I do like this game overall. I do recommend people give it a try if they want to like get out of the asylum and try doing it without the walkthrough. You know. Um, it might be cool to do that, just to try and map out the maze yourself if you can, you know. Because um, it's, it's definitely, when you look at the maps, there's five different maps, and not all of them are just like square labyrinths. You know, some are like hexagonal shaped areas. Some are, you know, with seven sides instead of six. It's tricky, you know, so you kind of have to, you know, map all that out, I guess, to figure it out. But anyway, um, I'm rambling on. Give me about maybe a couple minutes here to switch over, and I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Here we are with Diablo 2 Resurrected. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. I'm only going to do this for about an hour, I think. Um, I do want to keep this to be a fairly short stream tonight. Where do I need to go now? Oh, right. We have a quest here. I never figured out what charts you should give me here. I think we'll go with Andario's Lair. Let's go ahead and close that. Where can we go to? We still haven't found the Outer Cloister. We'd like to find that at least. That's got to be this way, right? Ugh, got creatures constantly following me. Oh, go, go knock this guy out. Oh, hello. Chip Topaz. Sweet. Uh, I got to get my controls back now. Hey, hold on. Get him. Get him. Gut Maw. Oh, dear. Kind of like how I'm feeling right now. Uh, well, the small shield's magical. Why not? There, now I'm healthy again. Fantastic. Knock those guys out. Oh, for goodness sakes, leave me alone. I believe I need to go back through here to find the outer cloister. Hello, ring. Oh, another ring? Sure, don't mind if I do. Hello. Another topaz. Cannot wait to get the Haradra cube. Oh, look at all these guys. Uh, hit the guys with the flames first. Come here, you. Get off her. My to hit is terrible right now. Is that everybody? Nope. I more just want to keep doing it. What did I pick up that I didn't want to pick up is the question. Uh, control left click to drop that. We'll put all this stuff on the bottom. There we go. Hello. Oh, look, somebody with flames. Let's get him.
Get him. Get him, Eliza. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Where is the silly waypoint? Let's see. Can we find it here? Smack him. Rock an issue. Yes, level up. Who wants some? Come get some. All of you. Oh, for goodness sakes, I hit the wrong button. Frickin' vermin everywhere. Okay. Are they all dead yet? Nope. Look, more. Go away. gold. There was a building here. We'll go through that. Oh wait, that's the burning building. We don't want to go through that. Ah, more of them. Jeez. Uh, another cave. Great. Still don't find what I'm looking for here. Amulet. Let's uh, bump up some stats here if we can. Ugh, go away. They keep coming. It's wave after wave of these freaking things. What do I need? Avenger Paladin build. What's my stat look like? Strength, 150, 150. I think I'll throw it into strength. Do a little more damage, maybe. Uh, what's the other button? It's been so long since I played this. Skill tree. Let's see. What do we got here? Blessed aim? Nope. We need vengeance. And we don't have vengeance yet. We need three more levels for that. Can't get blessed hammer. Um, can't get holy freeze. Can't get sanctuary. So I guess we're going to be doing defensive auras here. Who we'll resists lightning? That works. All right, that's done. Now let's find this darn waypoint.
Keep running around. Keep running around. Yep. Get rid of him. Oh, what did I pick up now? I don't need that. Would love to get a better weapon. I'm not really seeing any better ones yet. <clears throat> get off my rogue. Oh, good, a large charm. Let's see, what else is over here? We got a hallway this way. Yeah, we'll get one of those. Ugh, dead end. Oh, goody. Returned mage. Let's return him back. Our vitality is not doing so well. You're going to need to heal, I think. go. Chip diamond. I no longer fear fire. That's going to come in handy. Thank you. What's out here? Anything? I uh, get this area. Oh, for goodness sakes. Thorn beast. This is my house now. Look, it's XP. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of a hack and slash grind em up type of game sometimes. Uh, well, most of the time, let's be honest. Um, sometimes it's good, you know, it's mindless stuff, you know, that you can kind of just skill your way through without thinking a lot. It kind of gets your mind off thinking, which I kind of need to do right now. Oh, no, I'm slow. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Still slow. Wow, I must have been really frozen. All right, there we go. What? Pick it up. There you go. Where to go now? It's got to be... Goodness gracious, why can I not find this place? It's always the last place you look.
I have a feeling I need to go through the monastery again. I could be wrong there, but let's just keep going and look around. I don't need a wrist blade. Whoa, look at all these guys. Whoa! Let's just heal up a little bit, shall we? Come on, I skilled up and resist lightning. These guys should be bothering me that bad. Nothing is... Nothing as inglorious as a spiked club when you fight something like that. Jeez. Oh, you've defeated all these enemies. Here's a spiked club. No one wants that. It's not as glorious as a sword or something. It's just a stick. Yay, I got experience. Now I'm not going to find any enemies around, right? Of course not. This game is something else sometimes. Can't get through that gate. Where is this cloister, I wonder? I've been through all this before, haven't I? Except this area. Maybe this is the area. No, that's not it either. Where? Oh, here we go. More XP. Lots of XP. It's got to be in this area, right? Um, no healing? Are you kidding me right now? I'm in the outer cloister. Where is the teleport? Yeah, great. Did I not hit this before? That's weird. <sighs> okay, well I found it, finally. Must have overlooked it somehow. Um, well, there was that one place I could hit, but you know what? I'm going to go to the inner cloister because I think it's going to lead me to the catacombs. Do do. -do. Hello. Must get that falchion. Hmm. Rearrange some things here. How big is this falchion? That's not bad at all. Okay. Uh, since we're close, let's just go back, we'll sell our crap, and then we'll go back for the final spot here. Okay. 
Mr. Kane, good to see you again. See what Charcy has to say. All right, let's see if we can get to the baddies here. Will you stop resurrecting them? It would be one thing if they would just go on their way, but you just keep resurrecting them and they keep coming back to kill me. That doesn't work for me.
Bone ash. You're immune to cold, but you'll give me cold. Yes, we're going to take that, 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 that. Heal up. Catacombs. Didn't I do this already? You know what? Let's go this way. I got a feeling I need to go this way. Oh, look, Sapphire. I right, hear some monsters. The jail, level three. Hmm. I think I did the jail. I think I need to go to the catacombs, if I'm not mistaken. Liza, what are you doing? There you go. What the heck are we facing over here? Kit, stop that. All right, catacombs. I guess I haven't done this. You will not make one great. Oh, hello. Ratman. Lovely. Come here. Go get that one guy. It's always one. Got it. Okay. I'm going to leave that health shrine alone. Only use that when I need to. Hello. Do do do. I don't expect I'm going to get to Chapter 2 or Act 2 tonight, only because I'm so darn slow. So I'm just going to try and enjoy myself here. Smack things around a bit. Oh, where to go now? Where to go? Let's go this way. So many rooms. Oh, that one's special. Man, the gems are just dropping like pennies here. Nuts, man. Will you stop resurrecting things for crying out loud? Stop. Your religion's getting the best of you. 
you sit down. What do we got? Uh, let's drink that. Leave those alone. Oh, we gotta go back again? Dang. <sighs> the frustrating part, man. Key. Don't need a key, do I? I'll take one. Stack that. Let's take you on the way home here. Let's see, we need What happened to my volume? Oh, I, sh I turned it down, didn't I? There we go. Identify everything for me. All right, let's go put some stuff away. So many of these things. I really can't wait for the cube now. Axe of Frost. None of these look great. None of these look great. Uh, Deadly Mace of Measure. 8 to 12 versus 6 to 12. Doesn't really help. This doesn't take a lot of room in my inventory, so for now I can keep it. Everything else can go. Bye, 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 bye. Repair. Let's stash some coin. There we go. All right. Back to the catacombs. It's so dark in here. I think I need to cast Magic Missile. For those of you who may not have caught that reference, cast pit. For those of you who didn't catch that reference about casting magic missile in the darkness, uh, I highly recommend searching for Dead Alewives on YouTube, listening to their classic bits for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, some of the best stuff, really, that describes a typical D&D session, if you've ever wondered what it's like to play D&D. A lot of people still get caught up in the mysticism that could be behind it, but it really is just a bunch of people just getting together, having a blast. Um, that's really the best way I can describe it, you know? Flame Mame! Eat some. Thank you. I'll take that Rejuve, and I'm just going to use that right now. Thank you. Who's still around? Kill it already, will you? Seriously, Eliza. All right, let's go down this way. Come on. Let's go, girl. Let's go, girl. Come on. Time to go. Opening doors. We're opening caskets. We're just doing everything. Desecrating and defiling everything we see. Because we are pagans. In a unholy land. Chicka chicka ching. Chicka chicka ching. Oh, here we go. Raises dark ones. Goodbye, dark one.
Oh, they opened the door. Now we can get out. Uh, I hate when I do that. Is there a way to dismiss the town portal? <sighs> omelet. I have an omelet. Fantastic. Gold. More gold. I need more gold. All right. Okay. Fire everywhere. Let's uh, run. Got it. Kill him, Eliza. Omelette. Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. Well, that's a dead end. Fantastic. Uh, go, 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 go. Let's find more monsters. Level up more. Ah, yes. Catacombs level 2 coming up. I guess we must go. Meow. There we go. Come get some. Oh, here's some monsters. <sighs> Crude ring mail. Takes care of that. <laughs> well, since I used the town portal, let's go ahead and pick one of those up. Oh, big spider. Love the big spiders. Why can't it be follow the butterflies? You know? Excuse me. Oh, look, we have the Catacombs Level 2 Waypoint. Perfect. We are getting close to the end of Act 1. How great is that going to be?
one moment here. Fix this uh, stable diffusion because it's messing up on me here. Try that. Alrighty. Oh, look, a locked chest. Let's unlock it. Oh, look at all this crap. Nothing but crap. Give me my key back. Chipped skull. We'll take that. Take gold. Oh, here they are, Lar. Another omelet. Du fromage. Soul Venom the Dead. If you're dead, why are you still moving? Oh, I can't get over on that side, can I? Alright, let's keep moving. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Gold. Lots of scrolls of identify that I don't really need. Alright. Let's keep moving. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, he fell down. That's too bad. Get him. There's more out there. Go ahead and get him. I'm going to do fromage. Catacombs level four or level three. You know what? Heck with it. Let's just keep going. Go get them. I kind of just want to get through this at this point. Would not mind a change of scenery. It's a trap. I attack the darkness. Hello. Let's get all these guys.
Down we go through this. Oh no, it's a trap. You got me. Why do they make these places so big? Of course I am. That's enough. <sighs> More junk to put away. That can get sold. Chip skull goes here. That can get sold. Amulets. Plus two dexterity, plus seven to life. All resistance is plus seven. Plus five to dexterity. Hmm. Kind of want the resistances. We'll do that. Everything else can get sold. Falchion does quite a bit of damage, actually. That Falchion was like a unique item. I might go after it, use it. I could waste the imbue thing on it, I suppose, but I actually it has to be a normal item. It can't be uh, can't be a magical one. All right, repair, let's go dump our cash, get back out there. I got one more, one more trip, I think, and that'll be it for me tonight. Just to keep my inventory loose. Let's switch this back so I don't waste more of these. And we keep searching through these endless rooms of the catacombs. Of course, we're all done there. Uh, let's go this way. Just want to get out of here. Beat the big bad guy if I can tonight. That would be great. I feel like I'm close. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? And Dario. Oh, great. Catacombs level 4. Well, you know what? I think we're going to go there. Let's just go there. Heck with it. <clears throat> here we go. Kill big bad guy. Got it. First barrels. Then casket. Because reasons. What are you shooting at? Crazy lady. Get him. 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 They're getting resurrected again, aren't they? Come here. S 
Stop it. You annoying trash panda. Freaking trash monster. Next. Well, here comes Andariel. Get her, 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 get her. Well, boy. How about some poison of your own there? Run. Let's heal. Run! Get away! Come on! Get out of there! Get... Run! There you go. Run away. Jeez, Forrest. And we're still dying. Do that. We've lost Eliza somehow. Nope. We've leveled up. Pound the crap out of this girl here. Come on, Kerrigan, go away. Die. Falchion. Fantastic. Oh, you got all sorts of goodies there. Pure diamond. Very nice. Where did my girl go? Die. I seem to have lost my girl. Quest log. Return to war. Take care of an east. Yes. New stats. Um, let's uh, boost vitality. Just because we need it. Skill. We're not close to this one yet. So we'll take another defensive aura, I think. Although I, uh, I can't really... Do that. Yeah, I just need to go resistance here. Why don't we resist cold, or I'm sorry, resist fire? That'll do. Pretty sure Eliza's gone. I gotta go ahead and resurrect her now. Ah, get out of here, you trash monster. Another one. Jeez. Don't you guys give up? Go away. Blah! Another one. Give up already. Stop! I mean it. Go away. Freaking ghouls. Puke Maul the Mad. And he blows up to me, too. A Targe. Why not? 
Oh, I could use a couple of those. Light, take a regular healing potion. That's nice. Uh, that work? Yeah, it kind of worked. So let's send that. Okay. Um, that can go there. I guess we get out of here. Right. Good job. All right, resurrect her, why not? Who else can we talk to? What do we got here? Club of Flame, gone. Saurus, Iron Fist. It's a buckler defense six. It's kind of lame. Iron stay, iron fist, iron heal. It's hard to keep that, really. I don't think it's going to give me enough. Havoc scratch, four to 14, increased attack speed. But it's a dirk. Ah, it's just so lame. That goes bye bye. Bone Aegis, uh, uh, no, you're terrible, jeez. Great resistances across the board, but it's just kind of lame. Uh, that can go to Lothsaw. Now that could be something there. Compare that to, let's see, Corpse Song. This has slightly more enhanced damage, but the overall damage is better on the Loath Saw. Level 1 Amplified Damage, that's cool. Plus 2 to max against versus plus 1 to minimum. It doesn't have the fire damage. It does have the poison damage. It repairs its durability, which is okay. Adding the attack rating... Yeah, I like the Loath Saw. I think the Corpse Song is gone. This one, I think I'm just going to put in my stash for now. I like that Crystal Sword, but I just can't find another good weapon like that. Um, none of this is going to be any good, right? Yeah. Cap of Frost Shield. Ooh. Chain Gloves. That doesn't really help much. Nope, we are going to wait till the next chapter, it looks like, to get some good stuff. We'll throw the shield here, just in case we can make the full set. I don't think we're going to be able to, though. Uh, 
Okay, uh, is that it? Anyone else to talk to? I got Warov, I think I gotta talk to. Do we want to head east before we leave? I think we do. Geed doesn't really have much for us. Nothing we want to really gamble on, I don't think. Wow, it's a lot of money. For rings? Oof. It's a lot of money. No thanks. All right, Warv, I think we're going to talk to you, buddy. Sure, why not? Let's have a little play scene here. Eerie music. Act two. Ah. <sighs> Ah, camel's dead. He kicks the camel. Good day.
All right, we'll talk to him later. Uh, what's around here? We gotta go to our stash and everything, don't we? Here we are in the desert. Lutko Lane. What do you got? Axe? Hmm. Axe wouldn't be bad if it was just a one. Yeah, no, this wasn't bad, but right now my falchion's pretty bad right now. Uh, let's see. Sabers. Nothing's really comparing. The superior falchion. Mechanic's longsword. So I think that's what I'm really looking for, is a good longsword like that. We'll see if I can find something like that. Ooh, Crimson Battle Axe worth, but it's two-handed, so I can't really do much with that. It's all assassins. They got the full arm. Foul longsword. How about the armor? What do we got? Chain gloves. Gauntlets. Mm-hmm. I like those. Yeah, give me these. Breastplate, superior chain. Definitely want the armor upgrade if we can get it. Scale mail, ring mail, ring mail. I think I'm going to take this. There we go. Azure full helm, cold resist. Poison length. Um, yeah, that one seems to be the best one. We're going to grab you. Armor this guy up here. The heavy gloves were good. Boots. Heavy boots. Not really much there. Kite shield. It's going to be hard to beat the umbral disc. The superior belt. <clears throat> okay. Our guy's looking pretty good now. Nah, I can't, buddy. Who's Lysander? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So we have our smith. We're supposed to have somebody to do the hirelings, but I don't see them yet unless they're in the palace. So anyway, I think we're good. Deposit our gold. That's that. Okay. Save and exit. All right, folks. Uh, that's going to do it for me tonight. Look at our guy. He's all bad now. Bad mofo, look at this. He's getting there. Um, so that's going to do it for me tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do for Wednesday and Thursday now. I'm thinking I might want to cut one of the streams just to kind of give myself a chance to recoup. Uh, hopefully I can start feeling better physically and start feeling better mentally. Um, it's possible I might skip the Wednesday stream and then leave the Thursday stream. Thanks, Foxfire. Um, I'll catch up with you either tomorrow or Wednesday, I guess. Um, like I said, I, 
I might skip the Wednesday stream just to give myself a little break and then uh, resume on Thursday. And Thursday might be up in the air. I don't know if I want to do World of Warships or I want to do um, Pool of Radiance. One of those two will probably be the one. Um, and we'll see how the schedule goes through the rest of the week and next week. Um, like I said, I, I'm just trying to get myself right, you know. So that's once I can get to that point, I'll feel better and maybe I'll have more energy to, to kind of keep attacking some more of these streams here. So, all right, um, this is 21st Century Jedi uh, reminding you, take care of yourself, take care of others, help each other out when you can, bubbles up, and I will talk to you all either Wednesday or Thursday. Keep an eye out for the stream. Uh, take yourself, uh, have yourself a good week, I should say, and uh, we'll see you around. Uh, where is, uh, let's see, i got to click on this. All right. Uh, take it easy, everybody. Have yourself a good week.